mean I was persistent. Well, I wouldn't say you showed no interest in me at all. <laughs> and I'd say you've always had a very high opinion of yourself. You were the persistent one. I didn't know how to get rid of you. I mean, I don't remind me of some of the stupid things I did. I can remember one night sleeping on the landing outside your door because you locked it. And then another night I didn't lock it. No. Brandy. Please. Why did he marry you? That's a strange question. It's a very simple one. I think you'll find a great many people who don't agree it's a simple one. Well, I wasn't asking anyone else. I married Paolo for the reason people usually marry each other. Because I loved him. Loved. Past tense. I don't want to play semantics. The question was in the past tense. And is that where the marriage is? I don't think you love him now. I can't really understand why you ever did. Is this some sort of ancient proprietorial claim? We had an affair, Jack. It doesn't take you inside my head. It never did. Do you expect me to believe that you're happy? Who can say that? I'm happy. I'm happy. Who can say they're happy? So you're unhappy? I have a new baby, Jack. If there was nothing else in all the world, I still couldn't say that I was unhappy. Paolo isn't easy to know. When I first met him, he was so different from anyone else I'd ever met. Gentle, caring, thoughtful. I suppose I was a little bit in love with Italy at the time. And he seemed to have such a passion for Italy. Such a rich well of understanding. When he talked, he could almost take you inside a painting. Take you back. You felt as if you were watching Michelangelo working. He talked about the past with such a fire. And what did he have to say about the present? The future? We were lovers, Jack. It wasn't a series of history lessons. In the villa, there's an attic with a high, narrow window. Inside, it's very dark and cold, even though the sun beats down on the tiles. It's full of deep, ancient dust and woodworm and cockroaches and hundreds and hundreds of old, broken things, picture frames and push chairs, wine jars and moldy clothes. Sometimes, when I'm working in the garden, and the sun is hot on my face. I look up at the window and I feel I ought to see myself looking down. Why do you stay? I have my baby. More than anything in the world, Paolo wanted a son. I thought it was a thing that had come between us, me not conceiving. I thought that with Nicolo it would all come back, all that old caring, all that gentleness. And it hasn't. That's why he divorced his first wife. For giving him a daughter, basically. He told me that three years ago. I just had a miscarriage. You don't belong with a man like that. He is my husband. It's my choice. Duty? Is that so ridiculous? If it puts you in that attic, yes. No one forced me to make my marriage vows before God. I meant what I said. It's very simple. Duty and religion. Should I be ashamed of that? No. It surprises me, that's all. So, I can still surprise you? Yes. It's late. You better get back. I... <sighs> I don't think more than I'm 
used to. Sure about driving? No gambit like an old gambit. <laughs> I'm too old for gambits. Been good seeing you. Without the rest of the world in attendance. Have you ever thought back about us over the years? Was there really in us to think back to? Maybe. Just for one moment. Of course I've thought about you, Jack. More than you can know. I think you're right about the driving. There's a spare bed made up at the top of the stairs. First room on the left. It's strange, but that's the first time I've kissed a woman since. You don't feel what I feel. I feel a great deal. I've said that. Then act on it. I can't act on everything I feel. But grown up, you've been grown up for a very long time. It's not such a lot of fun, is it? Good night. I think I'll have a, another brandy and maybe a look at the stars before I crash out. I'm sorry about... Don't be. You don't have to act on your feelings, but you don't have to apologize for them either. <laughs>